So I've done several videos on this channel from the early 2000s series talking about life and childhood in the early 2000s. And you really can't talk about the early 2000s without discussing Britney Spears. Britney Spears what the shit in the early 2000s. You know, I'm like 26. And so let's do some math. My sister is about eight years older than me. And so for like for her, Britney Spears was freaking God. You know, she, you know, was of the generation who worshiped fucking Britney Spears. And I'm seeing a lot of people from that generation uh, have a lot of empathy for Britney Spears. Whereas in my case, I did see I was a young child when she was at her height of fame. And I was still like a child when she was pretty big and going through a lot of controversy and shit. And I really do have to say she's gotten to the point, in my opinion, where she's just become Lindsay Lohan, where Lindsay Lohan was an actress. But now at this point, I don't even know if I would say she's an actress. I would say she's just someone who's in controversial shit. She's just a controversial person. Like she doesn't really produce anything. She just produces controversy and news stories and stuff at this point you know she's just a celebrity because she's a celebrity like have you ever recently seen a Lindsay Lohan movie has she released a recent movie and if she does release recent stuff it's about why she's so controversial and like um cringe and shit like how can you build a career on that and I'm getting this vibe that Britney Spears has effectively become that you know like I'm seeing all the shit that she's posting on Instagram I'm seeing her Twitter and shit or whatever like all of her social media pages just come off as really fucking weird to me like it's like kind of Madonna but at least with Madonna that's always the way she was with Britney Spears the problem with her was that for the early part of her career or at least the part of her career where she was at her height she kind of had this Ariana Grande like this 20 2013 Ariana Grande thing going on but I think the difference is I think you actually can't really compare Britney Spears's career in terms of iconicness or whatever without comparing it to Ariana Grande and I just have to be direct Ariana Grande mocks the shit out of Britney Spears in every single category Britney Spears her height of career was let, let's say about three years let's say 1999 until like 2002 or something like that after that things just got kind of trashy she did release a couple of good songs after that but just the vibe had changed whereas with Ariana Grande she was at the height of her career she had a lot of class going on on from let's say 2013 into uh, until about 2021 now I think she's kind of on the downward spiral at this point but yeah Britney Spears by contrast to that she didn't even seem to earn her fame she had all of these other people who in my opinion I think were smarter than Britney Spears I think they knew exactly how to turn her into something that was like I guess let's just be direct a product that people liked you know you had um Max Martin kind of writing a lot of her songs. You had, uh, what's it called? Lou Pearlman, who just created a lot of the initial hype around Britney Spears. You had the Mickey Mouse Club, which just had all of these celebrities, Justin Timberlake, Christina Aguilera, and they all just created all of this hype around all of these people that got started. Whereas like with Britney Spears, I think she was given so many fucking resources and yet she did the least with it. You know what I mean? Because she just kept pissing her way away at her fame. Like, one thing to talk about is like right when she was at the height of her fame, she got knocked up by Kevin Federline. Like who the fuck does that, right? Like Britney, when Ariana Grande like hit her peak in like the early to I mean the mid to late 2010s, did she get knocked up by Big Sean or freaking Mac Miller or some shit? Like uh, that would have ruined her career. And yet for some reason, Britney Spears gets this get out of jail card. And in fact, it's also the case because she's also been kind of a bitch to a lot of people through the years. Did you ever watch her when she was on the X Factor? She was so fucking mean. Did you see the Don Phillip um, audition where Don Phillip, he had done a song with her in 1999. I listened to that song. I used to have that album when I was a young kid and I used to listen to it all the time. It was the cutest fucking song in the world. And when he came to see her and he was like, hi to her. Now, if you ever watch the, uh, what's it called? The audition, the initial audition, she's already a bitch. But if you watch the full audition where they made cuts, she's a fucking evil bitch. You want to know what he said? He talked about one, he had been going through a lot of shit through the years, you know, he wanted, he was supposed to be this big singer, you know, him and Britney Spears had started around the same time and Britney Spears turned out to be the big star and he just went nowhere really, more or less. And so when he came back to see her, he kind of was just looking for someone to give him some approval. And did Britney Spears give him any approval? No, she was cold as fuck to him. And then in addition to this, he decided to use the moment to come out of the closet. He said that he was gay and Britney Spears was just like, oh, I don't care. Simon Cowell was a complete asshole and was just like, oh, well, you know, why do you think any of us would care? Like, whatever. 
they cut that out so Simon Cowell wouldn't look like a dick and so Britney Spears wouldn't look like a bitch. But imagine, Britney Spears sang a, a, one of her earliest songs with him. He helped her become such a big fucking star and she just treats him like a piece of shit even after all of the shit that he's been through. You see this with auditions as well in the, the X Factor. People like, this is like their first performance, they fuck up or some shit. And Britney Spears, she's asking for so much empathy with this free Britney movement and yet with other people, she has no empathy. Did you see the Alexa Nicholas um, situation you know nicole from zoe 101 i used to have a huge crush on her hell i used to talk to this chick on instagram she eventually blocked me because she she made this one instagram story that she was like a lot of dudes are just assholes and it's just like chill and then she blocked me we used to I actually have the screenshots of the dms we used to talk a lot because she was doing this play project but anyway she's kind of crazy in my opinion alexa nicholas but anyways this girl she was in zoe 101 and she was just like this little girl in the show she was like i think 14 or some shit when she was doing the show. I remember I used to watch it when I was 10 and I had a huge fucking crush on her. And so anyways, this Nicole chick, Jamie Lynn Spears was a fucking bitch to her for the entire run of the show. And I remember there's this one point where all the girls just like mocked her or some shit. And then Jamie Lynn Spears just used her star power to get rid of her. She used the fact that she was Britney Spears' sister to just completely fuck with her completely. In fact, the reason why she left the show was because Britney Spears herself treated her like shit. She walked onto the set as Britney Spears in like 2005, so she was a big star back then, and treats this little fucking girl, this, you know, Alexa Nicholas chick, like she's a piece of shit. Like again, like why is there so much empathy for this Britney Spears chick when she's done all, like she's just a really trashy, like, spoiled brat who's just completely pissed away the best years of her career has been a complete bitch to everyone who like worships her do we see like um do we see like uh some of these videos that are released of people who met her in the meet and greets and how like you know like they'll slightly touch her elbow or some shit and she gets like all like freaking spazzed and shit and calls security and shit she's so freaking extra with everything you know i can't emphasize ariana grande is a rich as fuck girl from boca raton she had no reason to be a big singer she could have just chilled out and lived off of her mama's dividend checks every single year and never had to do anything in her life but she decided to be a singer she does these like concerts for like 50 dollars in her early years when she's like already becoming a big star she starts meeting fans when her fans are attacked she does a concert raising money for them she really loves her fans even at this point where she's kind of fucking up it's more so just kind of like a moral thing. It's just like maybe you shouldn't fool around with a man who has kids or is married or some shit. But again, like I kind of get the vibe that if I was to meet Ariana Grande in the street, she'd be really sweet. Whereas with Britney Spears, I kind of get the vibe that she'd probably just call security or some shit. You know what I mean? Like she seems like she's so not there and so above everyone else. And she's just been propped up by so many fucking people that she thinks she's above everyone else. And we see this in the way she's acting on Instagram. She's doing all this crazy shit and people are just constantly like oh why are you bothering her because she's acting like a fucking crazy person bro because like her entire career the best points of her career were like three freaking years 1999 to 2002 the rest of it was a piece of shit yeah she released a couple of interesting songs circus generic every time just another love ballad that you know was released diamond a dozen in 2004 like honestly all this shit is pretty freaking meh it's the only reason why Britney Spears was a big star was because she was pretty vibed in 2001, in 2000, and in 1999. And then after that, you want to know the, the thing that nobody talks about? She released some really shit music after that, from what I remember. And if you don't believe me, just listen to it now from a modern perspective. Have you listened to I'm a Slave for You? What the fuck is that? Have you seen that like an award show? There is no fucking continuity with that song. The, the only reason that song was a big deal was because Britney Spears released it. You listen to other artists from the time, from the early 2000s, they put so much fucking effort into it. Mandy Moore, her career was very short. She had a couple of albums and she released way more vibe shit than Britney Spears. Britney Spears put no effort in, had all these people simping for her, turning her into a huge freaking star. And then she pisses it away and just becomes this trashy mess for the entire time. She has all of this money, practically unlimited money. Do take into consideration, she's super fucking rich at this point. She has a lot of stock in the stock market. All the people, again, who've been setting her up to win have set her up in some really good stocks. She has a lot of good stocks and so she's just like living on all of autopilot and yet people are still worshiping her after she's such a bitch, after she's done so many fucking terrible things, after she's done nothing to earn her artistry or whatever. She never had a voice. She never really looked all that good to begin with. In hindsight, I never understood why I had a crush on her because I guess the beauty standards in the 2000s were ass. And, um, 
yeah so yeah that's my opinion on britney spears i think britney spears should be back in the conservatorship because if you're seeing the way she's acting now we're maybe kind of beginning to realize that maybe her father was right to begin with maybe he was the person that created britney spears and gave her all this value maybe otherwise if she wasn't you know propped into all of these weird shows and this disney nonsense she would just be working at a freaking kfc in fucking louisiana or some shit like believe me Honestly, let's stop propping up this person. I hope you got something from this video and I wish you all the best. Take care.